Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned into the NFL on EA Sports. Tonight's matchup features two quarterbacks who will be trying to lead their team to victory. It's Rivers' Chargers going up against Carr's Raiders. With that, it's time to hook up with our commentators in the booth as we turn it over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. It's a day, Larry, that fans in these parts will need to savor as we come to you from the East Bay and Oakland, California. This was the scene a few minutes ago. The folks around the stadium clad in silver and black going to make every last game played in Oakland count. They're ready to go as their Raiders get set to match up with Phillip Rivers and the now Los Angeles Chargers. Hi again, everybody, alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and you know, now more than ever, it's a passing league. We know that, and as Larry hit onto the open, we've got a couple of great passers squaring off here this afternoon. And usually the discussion centers in on how they're going to compete against the opposite defense. But you and I had a nice little chat with one of these guys in this game, <laughs> and they did say, look, I'm always competing against the opposite quarterback. If I play better than he does, I think my team has an advantage. Makes the handshake afterwards a little sweeter, too. Here's the kicker, Nick Novak, to get us started. And off we go from Oakland. On the return, here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Oakland taking the field. There's E.J. Manuel, former 16th overall pick back in 2013. You know, Manuel's had 17 career starts, Charles, 6-11. and 11. How do you see him taking over for Derek Carr with the injury? I think they're going to look at him and say, we know you're talented, we know you can throw the football, but just take care of it. And they'll lean on the running game. They want to get Marshawn Lynch more involved. An offensive line that has a lot of Pro Bowls to their credit, they're going to tell them, you're going to have to carry us for a little while. And then they'll look at the defense and Khalil Mack and say, hang in there for us. Just don't have E.J. Manuel lose games for them so that Oakland can stay in them and try and steal a few. Here's Manuel. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 38. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. Brandon, when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach and talked about how they wanted to begin this game offensively, they talked about their script, didn't they? 10 to 15 plays, the first 10 to 15 they had on their script. Nowhere on the script was there throwing an interception, I have to believe. The Chargers offense gets set. They head back onto the field. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. Now a first carry for Melvin Gordon. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Charger first. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. I'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. They go back to Gordon here on first down. Great move, but still wrangled before reaching the 20. A gain of three, second down. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. On second down, they'll run with Gordon. They'll get it inside the red zone, but only for a couple down to the 19. 
Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Rivers from the gun on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. When we talk with people about what we think the most important quality for an NFL quarterback to possess, what do people usually say? Arm strength. And he showed the arm strength there. Yeah, pretty good bullet pass he threw, but he wasn't accurate, was he? No. Listen, you like mobility, but accuracy, first and foremost, is what a quarterback needs. He didn't possess it on that play. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through, and the Chargers grab themselves a 3-0 lead. So the drive stalls out, but they are able to put three points on the board. Yeah, just a yard or two shorter than an extra point, so no problems converting there. It's Nick Novak back out following his field goal to send it away. This is taken at his four. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The Raider offense now making their way toward the huddle. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. Sean Lynch, even with that broken tackle, can't go very far. Stop short of the 30. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. On offense, these will be the starting 11 for the Raiders. We discussed the quarterback position. We didn't mention Marshawn Lynch through four weeks of the NFL season. 151 yards, just one touchdown. What have you thought of him? I feel like Oakland's been trying to protect him a little bit. I think that they want him fresh down the stretch. Remember, he took some time off from playing in the NFL before making the comeback with the Raiders. So I think that his number of carries will go up as the season goes along. But they may have to up it starting right now with their quarterback, Derek Carr, down for at least a couple of games. Carrying one deep for Crabtree. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. That's interference. Defense. So the contact came before the ball got there, and the flag is thrown. Timing is everything, isn't it? And it's so hard to cover these great receivers. They have such great body control, and they can fake you out. In this case, as you described, got there before the ball got to the receiver. Penalty flag had to come out. Well, the offense lining up first and ten. They go play action here on first down. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Crabtree, once again, the intended target. And it's second down. The starters on defense here for Los Angeles. In 2016, the Chargers defense had its moments. They were ranked 10th against the run. Overall, total defense, though, they were 16th because they struggled a little bit against the pass, but they had a number of injuries, and they expect those guys back this year and expect to be an improved unit overall. Now Manuel. Connects. 
kicks it to Roberts right side. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. That one will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. Well, maybe that'll help him settle back into a groove after the interception on the first drive here, picking up the first to start drive number two. And it is just starting over, isn't it? Sometimes it's just how you have to do it. You have to erase things from your mind. Don't worry about what happened before because over the course of the game, the good players, things turn out pretty well for them, and that's what he's trying to do here. First down, he'll drop to throw. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And this is recovered by the Chargers. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. The Charger offense making their way back out there. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> not one that I've ever met. And from the nine-yard line now, it's first and goal. They'll run with Lynch, and he will force his way forward for a yard or two, but I have a good feeling this will be coming back. So he was holding from that left tackle position. Everyone tries to keep their hands inside when they're blocking ever since they liberalized the rules where you can extend them out. But sometimes they get out a little wide and they get detected grabbing some cloth. Lynch, and he'll take this one down near the 15. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. Well, obviously, they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead, now, they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. Second and goal. Defense digging in again here. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. So stuff for no gain on second down brings up a pretty interesting third from this distance. I'm throwing the ball, and I'm not even thinking about play pass. I'm going to let them know right away I'm throwing it, but I'm probably giving my quarterback some room, sprint him out to one side or the other, and give him an opportunity if it breaks down, he can take off and run for it. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Jared Cook, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Raiders have taken the early lead. Such an art to dot the I, just get the feet in right there against the line before going out of bounds. Such an incredibly graceful, athletic play, but also a lot of practice goes into it. They work on that to make sure that they learn how to train their feet to get down in bounds.
No going for two. They'll kick the point after. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it ends with an Oakland touchdown. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Here comes the Chargers offense now back out onto the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. <laughs> they weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. They'll start on the ground. This is Gordon on first down. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, usually you don't think of the quarterback coming in for a no gain play, but that's what we had there. Nice tackle. Man, how about the range, too? Coming from the outside part of the play, moving his way into the inside and making that play happen. No gain for the offense. Big play for the defense. Rivers now on second down. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. That catch good for five. It's third down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle it, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Rivers to Benjamin, good for the Charger first down. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe-tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. Now Gordon on first down. And now running right through it. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. supposed to be used to slow down pressure, slow down blitzes. In this case, though, if it takes a little too long to develop, you got people right in your face. And lucky just to get rid of the ball with the arm going forward. Could have been a fumble. Third and short yardage, Rivers. He's got his man. It's Williams. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. Off 
offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Back to the ground now with Gordon. And past the 30, down to about the 27. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Getting the sense, Charles, are going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far, working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. Second down following the run. From the gun, Rivers. Gates has it over the middle. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Do you get the sense, Brandon, that people are trying to retire Antonio Gates? They keep thinking this is almost the end of the line, and then he keeps making catches like the one we just saw there. He's the old reliable, you're right, just one of nine players in the NFL with 100 or more touchdowns. And the eighth play on this drive coming up. Now Rivers going to give it off to Gordon. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Melvin Gordon scampering home from 19 yards out. And the Chargers are able to strike for six. And there you go. Nothing really too complex. Block, keep to your assignments, let them run it in. They did it. Fundamental football. Good blocking. Beats good tackling on that play. And result, touchdown. Nick Novak on now for the extra point. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So a nice drive put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays. And it's capped off by a touchdown run coming from Melvin Gordon. Novak out now to kick this one away. This fielded at the two. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Now the Oakland offense heading back onto the field to take over. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Start on the ground with Lynch. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. No surprise watching Marshawn Lynch scatter bodies as he runs, but I remember doing games of his at Cal. And I remember the moves, the jump cuts, the elusiveness, as well as the strength. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. They run again on first down, Lynch. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Official foul, face mask, defense. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. 
any part of it that's going to be 15 yards. Keep pounding here with Ledge. And he'll get only a couple down to the 44. Well, he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. This is Jalen Richard. Flash the stick skills on that run, but then stop shy of the 35. It'll go as a gain of seven on the play, and it sets up a third and in inches situation. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling them in the huddle right now. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Trying a little razzle-dazzle on third and short. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. He lost two, and it brings up fourth. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. Now on fourth down, Jack Del Rio is going to send on the field goal unit. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And this won't get there, won't be on line either. It's no good, off to the right, and this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good, good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it, and this one winds up no good. And the Chargers coming out of the field now. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Start the drive with a run by Gordon. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. Seven yards to go on second down. Now, prior to the snap, we hit all zeros as time has run out on the first quarter of play. 10-7 our score, and we're back to Oakland after this. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Back now to begin the second quarter with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's the Chargers here with a football. They face a second and seven to start things out. This is Gordon as they go to him again. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. 
Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Now a play fake here on first down. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Tyrell Williams was the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Well, there's times when you see these catches that are made, and we just know the guys playing it are really wishing for college rules. Only need that one, one foot, foot down instead of two. It's awfully difficult on the sideline, isn't it? A second down throw for Rivers. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. 17 yards for the Chargers there as they've got themselves a first down. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. now Rivers his throw caught right around the six and he gets it all the way down inside the 10 to the five yard line a nice gain of 21 yards there are so many things to watch for when you play defense and reading your keys you always hear about that and having your eyes in the right place sometimes your eyes can fool you how about that play action there that sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. First and goal, Melvin Gordon. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. And a nice job defensively to keep him out of the end zone. He's trying to get a second touchdown already in the first half. They had that one earlier, was bidding for a second. Second down, Rivers. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. Justin Ellis. Able to collapse the pocket and drop him for a loss of three. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. offense on third down today they've been okay two for three thus far this is third and goal throwing rivers and oh it'll be intercepted picked off by travis carey and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back I know that's something people say you have to live with with Phillip Rivers as your quarterback. 52 interceptions over the last three seasons. But remember, he's been dealing with a depleted wide receiver core. Yeah, that's very true. But those 52 interceptions over the last three seasons you mentioned, most in the NFL. Marshawn Lynch heading back out into the huddle. He's just been looking for some space. You know, I'm not going to pin it on him or the offensive line, but... They need to get this run game going better. Sometimes you just have to credit the defense. They came in with a plan themselves. So I think now you try and mix things up a little bit. Get the ball in the hands of some other people. Find some other playmakers. But always let the defense believe that he's still a threat. I was going to say, don't forget about it. No, him. don't take him totally out of the game. Check. 24, 24, 24. Ah! Oh, 
They'll try and start this drive in the air. Completes it right side to Cooper. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. The pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop, but that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything. So it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. On second down, Lynch. And he finds some space past the 25 to the 27. Eight yards there on the carry, and now they're left with a much more manageable third and three. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Back to throw here. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Well, they've had a pretty frustrating first half here offensively, and that just continued there with that incompletion. Yeah, definitely frustrating for them, but heartening for the other guys. Those stop troops, they're enjoying things right now because they've made it very difficult for them throughout the half. Six-year man Marquette King on to punt. Travis Benjamin deep for the Chargers. Returning, it's Benjamin. A big boot that time. 57 yards, the official distance. And the Chargers will be backed up deep to begin their drive as they take over first and 10. Side, they're playing press coverage. They'll run it now out of the gun. And an alley to run. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. That one good for 13 and a charger first. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. down Rivers man open left side it's Williams and he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down they call it a gain of 19 and it moves the chains Going to turn and give this one to his running back, Gordon. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Really good, skillful, tough running throughout this contest. Picked up first down after first down. He's got to have a nickname, doesn't he? How about the human first down machine? I think that fits. Keep it on the ground. Again, Gordon. And a short gain down to about the 33. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. 
Nice job by the defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Now the first carry for Brandon Oliver. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Give him 15 yards on that one and a charger first down. This has been a good drive so far. It's been the running game for the most part that's powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and 10, as you said, in the red zone. zone now Rivers and it pops free the collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down that's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football really really well done decent offense just better defense I think you're right and here comes play number six on this drive Now the handoff comes to Gordon. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? The Chargers on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and seven. Working out of the gun, Rivers. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. Khalil Mack in there to get him for a loss of nine, and that'll lead to fourth down. And when you go five wide like they just did there, you can't really max protect, can you? No, you cannot. What you're hoping is that by going five wide, you're forcing the defense into coverage. And if you do that, you've got a chance to find some people downfield. But if they audible themselves and go into a blitz, then it's got to happen right now. Or very lights quickly, out. <laughs> or exactly right. Turn them out. That play's over. And Novak's kick is good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, but the net gain, three points. And you're going to have drives like that in this league. Sometimes you just got to take the three and move on. Always better than nothing. It's Nick Novak back out following his field goal to send it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out, and they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked so well. Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. 
Cordero Patterson, the one he was hoping to get it to. And that'll bring up second down. Charles, quickly looking back to last week in the NFL, a couple key quarterback injuries. Marcus Mariota, Derek Carr, both went down. Actually, they both went down last year in the same week with an injury. They certainly did. I believe it was week 16 yeah. last year, right? Game 15. Both of them hurt, lost for the season. Carr's team made the playoffs, got beat eventually by Houston. Of course, Mariota's team lost their chance to make the playoffs when he went down with his injury. Mariota this year, day-to-day, -day, hamstring strain. They expect him to be back. But uh, Derek Carr, what was it, a broken transverse process in his back. That means he broke a bone in his back Yeah, I'm, at, I'm least two, at least two weeks. I'm leaning on you for that one. Transverse process fracture. Yeah, it means it hurts. The Raiders on third down, just one for three thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. He'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. Here's Marquette King now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. on first down and down he goes brought down a Raiders sack well that play was the very definition of fast quick and in a hurry suddenly he was there in a blink of an eye that happened fast and a big sack Second down throw for Rivers. Caught by Gates, left side. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? The Chargers on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and 14. Play fake, Rivers, able to get away. Oh, and now he bowls him over. He's airing it out for Williams. Incomplete, he had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. A pretty rocky start in this game for the guy throwing the ball. Already has thrown one interception. Almost threw a second one right there. All he's doing right now is giving the defense a whole lot of confidence. On to punt, Drew Kayser, second-year man from Texas A&M. Back deep for the Raiders, Jalen Richard. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. Taking it about the 16. 
A minute 59 to go in the first half. We'll come back to Oakland after this. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Larry Ridley is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Here's Manuel. A right side catch by Crabtree. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. Now Manuel. He'll check this down to Lynch, complete. It's an eight yard pickup and it'll make it second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. The Raiders on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This time they face a third and two. They'll look to throw. They set up the screen to Lynch. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. So he can't hang on. And as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard. Maybe from you. I don't know. But you're going to get hit anyways. Might as well hold on to the ball. Well, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player. Not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. Back to throw now on second and ten. That's Cordero Patterson hauling it in. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Cordero Patterson, 50 yards. And the Raiders have drawn even here, and they can take the lead with the extra point to come. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers. That meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Now the extra point try forthcoming. And it's up and good. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it winds up in six points for the Raiders. kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Brandon Oliver now on the return. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line.
Melvin Gordon now, he and the offense, they trot back out there. Now he's having himself a little bit of a banner game. His team right now, though, losing. Needs a little bit of help, and I kind of equate it to a basketball game where you have the big score, and sometimes your strategy is, okay, he can go ahead and have all of his points. Let's hold down everyone else, and that's the way you win the game. And right now, he needs everyone else to start scoring quote unquote as he's been yeah and he's hoping to keep it close so maybe they can keep it on the ground not start to go through the air as much rivers now to throw on first down and an incomplete pass that'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one the tight end gates the intended target and that'll bring up second down Hey, that gives us a chance, by the way, to play Charles' biggest surprises at the quarter mark of the NFL season. Take it away. All right, let's stay in the AFC, okay? Because I'm going to say the Buffalo Bills. Three and one, leading the AFC East. Rookie head coach and Sean McDermott, they're doing a fantastic job in the early going. The AFC West, I don't call it a surprise at all. We knew it would be a monster. It absolutely is. And right now, Kansas City leading at 4-0. Denver 3-1. Oakland, we all thought they might win this thing. They're 2-2 two and two and just lost their quarterback for maybe an extended period of time. But how about the surprise of all surprises, Brandon? The New York Jets are 2-2. Two and two, 500. Not 0-4. Oh <laughs> we all thought that the next week or this week coming up when they played the Cleveland Browns, it might be the 0-0 oh oh Bowl. <laughs> Instead, the Jets have two wins and looking to add a third. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with here on this next play. So the offense has it first and 10. First down throw here for Rivers. And that's complete to Gates. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So the offense took the timeout. Looks like they're ready to go as we get set to resume the action. So here we go, first and 10 now. Rivers now from the 50. Across the formation, he's got a man, that's Allen. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. Rivers again. And incomplete on the deep ball. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they have to fly, just sending the guy downfield with the in route accompanying it. What people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath hey, route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. Rivers now gets it to Benjamin. It's caught. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. To the air again here, Rivers. Out to the flat, that's complete to his running back. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, defensively rallying to the ball after the nice move.
So the offensive unit called the T.O. And now we are ready to resume play. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. From the right hash, this from 48. And Novak hung it out to the right, missing it right, no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So it's an empty possession, and as a kicker, not the way you want to start your day's work. And now each team's missed a field goal here so far, Brandon, so apparently neither guy is immune. drive in the air. He's going to loft one deep left side here and unable to connect on the long pass. It falls down incomplete. So we've reached halftime here in Oakland with the Raiders on top as we send you across the country to Orlando. Standing by there, Larry Ridley with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? Okay, Brandon, thanks. And welcome, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get to the highlights. The Raiders are happy to be sitting in the locker room with the lead. The Chargers won't panic either. They know they just need to take it one play at a time. All right, let's get straight to it. Here's some highlights from the first half. First and 10, Crabtree's gonna cough up the football here. Now following the fumble. Manuel's on point with the throw, and that goes as a 15-yard touchdown. The lead grows to four. Now first and 10, Gordon's gonna use a stiff arm to get away, and he kept off the long drive with the TD. Chargers up by a field goal. Third and seven. Here the defense will come up with the pick. Raiders defense comes away with the turnover. They have it right at midfield. Patterson's by himself here, and this long run goes for a touchdown. Raiders go up by one. We're set up for a great second half, so let's get you out to it. Here's Brandon Godden. So both teams have their marching orders and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. They'll start the third quarter on the ground with Gordon. And some room to roam now. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. That good for 19 at a first down. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along.
fresh set of downs here. They just got that playoff. Now Rivers. Allen's got it over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Charger first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Another tote for Gordon. He's been busy this afternoon. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. I don't know about you, partner, but I'm rubbing my eyes after that play. Did we just see that runner not get yardage? A big time play by the defense. It does happen occasionally, even against the best running backs who are having big days. And the offense behind the chains here, a touch on second and 11. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. Allen has it, left side. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Rivers from the gun on third down. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. Well, he's taken down, but not before picking up the first, thanks to a flashy little spin move. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. Good route, good pickup for first down yardage, and that is a tough one to cover. The angle route, because a running back getting out of the backfield, if you're trying to cover that, especially if you're in the linebacker spot and you're seeing this play develop, he heads out towards the flat first, and that often gets you to overcommit running in that direction. Then he cuts back up inside you into the middle of the field. That's what we just saw there for a nice pickup. Now the offense lining up first and 10. They run it here with Gordon. Gordon loses the football. It's loose. But a Chargers player was able to fall on it, and they'll keep possession. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. So after nearly turning it over, new life here for the offense on second down. Throwing Rivers. Looking sideline incomplete. He was looking for Travis Benjamin that time. Third down here. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. The Chargers on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and 16. They go play action. Rivers. And he's going to be out of bounds down inside the 20. It'll be a pickup of 14, but they're still a little bit short as it brings up fourth. I think the training and practice broke down on that play because he simply didn't run the route deep enough to get to the first down marker, despite what was a really nice catch and toe tap on the sideline. That's third down 101. You got to go to the marker, know where it is. And 
And Novak's kick is good. And with that, the lead changes hands here in this third quarter. So it's his third field goal now of the ball game, and they have needed his leg because this last one gives them the lead. It's been a back and forth kind of a game, Brandon, but now you've got to tell your defense, hey, we need a stop here so we can let this momentum carry us through to the next drive. It's Nick Novak back out following his field goal to send it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. They go play action here on first down. And he's going to be out of bounds up around the 45-yard line. And a nice gain of 21 yards. I know they don't like to hear it when they get to a certain age, but then you have to start to use your, your skills, your wiles, right, your mind to beat guys to the football. And getting your toes tapped in bounds definitely qualifies as that, doesn't yeah, it? The veteran showing he still has the agility. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. First down, the run with Lynch. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And it'll be second and 12. It's real easy to say this running game needs to be better, but the reality is they've been given little time to actually find a place to run the football. It's almost like the defense is there on the handoff. It's already second and 12. The defense hoping to push them back more. They'll run again with Lynch. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. The Raiders on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and seven. Looking to throw. And an alley to run. <laughs> and eventually taken down, but how about that athletic spin move we saw? Gives him the first down yardage. Give him 12 yards that time and an Oakland first down. Set up to throw. Smith catches left side. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. 
So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Here's Manuel. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. The Raiders on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and eight. They're going to look to throw. Couldn't hang on. Almost an interception there defensively. Instead, it brings up fourth. I know ultimately that feels like a good defensive play, but I know it's really not. They had a chance to keep points off the board. Now they have a chance to kick a field goal by missing that shot. Yeah, especially at this spot in the field. He's got to be upset he couldn't come up with that INT. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the left hash, this from 39. And his kick is right there. It's good. And with that, they move ahead by a point here in this third quarter. So he missed a field goal earlier, but he says not this time. And he's able to knock it through to give his guys three. And that's all you want as a kicker, a chance to redeem yourself. you got to have a short memory if you're going to survive at this level. And he's able to get back on track. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And now running right through it. They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. Here now, a look at Melvin Gordon. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. The big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. on first down. Gates has it over the middle. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understand just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays. 
Makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And <laughs> what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. Second down now after the pass completion. From the pistol, they run with Gordon. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give them a new set of downs. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. So the offense has it first and 10. Now a handoff. This is Gordon. And he is knocked down from the side. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. they got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. They run. It's Oliver. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. So it'll be first down here after the run. They'll try to throw here. Rivers. Throws left side complete to Keenan Allen. And he's brought down. Give him 15 yards on that one and a charger first down. So here we go, first and 10 now. From the gun, Rivers. And incomplete, he dropped it. Maybe a rookie mistake there, second down. So much of this game is focus and concentration. And whenever I see guys running the in route, I know that in the back of their mind, they're always wondering who's lurking inside that might put a big hit on them as they try and catch the ball. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. To throw again. Rivers. Throw left side complete. That's Gordon. They'll give him a yard on the play, and that's going to lead to a third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. The Chargers on third down, not quite 50%. Four for nine. This is third and nine. Play action now. Rivers. He's going to look for Allen now on the deep. And he's got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Chargers. Keenan Allen, 38 yards. And the Chargers are able to strike for six. And, partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. So they're going to go for two. Watch 
They'll throw again. Rivers. And that is caught for the two points. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. No back out now to kick this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Roberts and he'll get this up to the 34 yard line 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down but that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield you want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter can play out wide who could not only get open but when they're covered can uncover themselves downfield and create catches First down and 10 now for the offensive group. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver, and now it's second down. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they're going to have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Pretty good running there, nine yards. Sets up a third and one. I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down. They hit him with the draw instead and pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? But you know in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass rushers are on the field and they're only thinking one thing, get to the quarterback. And oftentimes you can bypass them with a running play. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in the East Bay. It's Raider football here, but they're on the short side of the scoreboard right now as we begin the fourth. The Raiders on third down, three for seven so far in this game. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll run it. Here's Lynch. And he's brought down, but following a pretty juke move that gives him the first down. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. Well, if we had any questions, that run kind of answered him. He's still Marshawn Lynch. Hasn't lost a thing. Maybe running with a renewed sense of purpose and energy after that year off. set of downs here and on the outside they're playing press coverage on 
first down, he'll drop to throw. They dump it off to Lynch. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. And now a first down following that long gain. Now a play fake here on first down. And his throw's going to be incomplete. He was trying to get it to Seth Roberts. And it's second down. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. Now back to throw. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. It's a gain of five. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end. But running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. The Raiders on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This will be third and five. He'll look to throw. Caught left side to Crabtree. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up the block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. So the offense, a little antsy, the flag comes out, and a five-yard penalty. That's on the big guard, Gabe Jackson. taken down at the 14-yard line. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks, allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Again, they'll pound it with Lynch. And, oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. The officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a 5-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. And the eighth play on this drive coming up. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. His pass caught at the four. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Nice job defensively to hold him to four. And now it's second and goal. 
it's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. They run a draw here on second down. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable. And you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. This offense so far on third down, five out of nine thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. Now whistles here, and I believe one of the Raider linemen might have been moving. offense. That's going to set him back five yards. The Raiders on third down, five out of nine thus far. This is third and goal. They'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. You know, every time we talk with people about the most important quality for a quarterback to have in the NFL, what do they usually cite? Arm strength. Yeah, and that's really way down on the list. Accuracy is one of the bigger ones, maybe the foremost one. That's what he needed on that play. And this one is right through. And that'll bring him back within four. So an interesting call there to take the three. I guess they're thinking their hands were tied, but in the fourth quarter, that field goal, it really might not help them much at all. Yeah, I mean, you still need a touchdown. Another field goal does you no good, so it'll be interesting to see what the media reaction is if the score stays where it is. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. This is Gates. And I think the ball's out. And the Raiders have recovered. But that takeaway, partner, right there, that's a combination of coaching, execution, and absolute belief. Because a lot of guys will look at the scoreboard and go, ah, this thing's pretty well done. But they still thought to themselves, if we can make a play, we give our team, we give our teammates a chance to win it. And that's exactly what they did. So out come the Raiders. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point. The kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> toe bash. I don't know about <laughs> toe that. Toe bashed it. <laughs> Super toe. <laughs> They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Over the middle, it's Jared Cook. 
And he's going to get this inside the 30. Give him a first down, 15 yards that time for the Raiders. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And yeah, he did. Whistles here, and I believe one of the Raider linemen might have been moving. So that'll back him up five. complete and they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24 it'll be a gain of eight yards and it'll make it a second down completed pass play now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground throw here out of the gun over the middle to Smith and he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19 that catch good for five it's third down not a big window to throw coverage wasn't too bad there yeah they had him under wraps pretty well but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball the Raiders on third down they've hit on half of them five for ten here it's third and two now whistles here, and I believe one of the Raider linemen might have been moving. False start, offense. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. The Raiders on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for ten. This is third and seven. He'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. That one didn't quite make it to the target, but that's not always a function of the strength of the arm of the quarterback, is it? Sometimes there's just too much pressure there. In any case, the ball doesn't arrive. One score down, here we go. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And no, it's incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Charger defense stands tall and they get the football back. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Now, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So, in other words, someone got lucky because <laughs> they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. Now a 20th carry, number 20 here for Melvin Gordon. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. 
Brandon, it's all about pace and tempo now for them. They've got the advantage, so I'm going to put musical terms for you. You don't want to go prestissimo. That's too quick, too lively, right? But you also don't want to slow it down too much. You don't want to go lento. What you really want to be is moderato. Oh. Nice and even, oh. nice and steady. Get those gains and close out the game. I think that chicken parm from last night's gone to your head. <laughs> Across the formation, he's got a man. That's Allen. And he's able to get this one up to the 45-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Time, getting it to about the 46. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, with the fumble he had earlier, we, we know how key keeping the football is here. That fumble earlier probably at the forefront of his mind. Just hold on to this thing. It's also at the forefront of the mind of the guys who are trying to get the ball from him. And since they've seen him drop it on the ground before, they're doing everything possible to have him do it again. They need that turnover. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Working out of the gun, Rivers. Caught by Gates, left side. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit on half of them, five for ten. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. They'll try and run it. Here's Gordon. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? First seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Now the offense lining up first and ten. A first down throw here for Rivers. Oh no, he lost the football. And the Raiders have recovered. I know when you're looking at the scoreboard clock, we're getting near the end of this game. But they were in what was really called four-minute offense. And that's practice, being taking care of the football, taking time off the clock, not giving them a chance to come back. But bottom line is, what did I say in the beginning? Taking care of the football. That didn't happen. Didn't do it a costly turnover. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And last time they were very fortunate, this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory, but the other guys held up. <laughs> they didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the <laughs> head coach? That was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold But he up. trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own side. Now we'll see what his offense can do. Here's Manuel. Sideline throw. It's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Four yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second down. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. Ike's been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd went to ballet school. Got the toes down and stayed in bounds. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. 
And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. The pickup goes for 16 and a Raider first down. That was a nicely run slant route. What the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. They go play action here on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Melvin Ingram in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. So this offense really needs to make something happen here late in the fourth with the football. They'll look to throw here. And his throw here is incomplete. The tight end, Lee Smith, the intended receiver. And it's third down. A little too much oomph, too much mustard there on that pass. They yeah, really turned it loose, didn't they? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. They'll set up a throw. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Melvin Ingram in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. Well, they went with a nickel. They throw in an extra defensive back. Coverage was very good. Yeah, it was exactly as you would expect. A passing down. You bring in the nickel package. Just as you described, the coverage was excellent and allowed one of their linemen to end up getting to the quarterback. Down four late, got to go for it here on fourth down. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. And they've got a fourth down now in a game that, to be honest, has been pretty much everything we could have asked for. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he finds Cook. And he's going to be taken down, but not before reaching the 15-yard line. A big play there for the Raiders. 31 yards. He'll look to throw. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. Oh, I know it goes against the grain here. It totally goes against it, but you've got to drop the ball in that situation. He makes the catch, but he loses yards and doesn't get out of bounds. And that'll set him back five. short of the 15, but a really good move on the run. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to.
The offense operating inside the 10 at the 8 here. It's first and goal. Back to throw. That is caught at the 7-yard line. And he's able to get it down to the 2-yard line. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. The Raiders try to move quickly, try to get everybody back to the line. Back to throw. And he can't corral it. That would have wrapped it up if he'd been able to hold on. Instead, it brings up third down. They took their shot for the end zone, almost cost him. And he made the right play there, knocking it away. But boy, it looked like he had a chance to come down with the football. And if he does that, this thing is over. Instead, he leaves them out there with another chance. Or do you put it in your quarterback's hands again? That's the question here on third and goal. Now whistles here, and I believe one of the Raider linemen might have been moving. offense. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. So they're back at the seven now for third and goal. They'll look to throw. This will be caught at about the five. They're able to hold him to three there, and that leads to a fourth and goal. Well, they were successful in one sense. They completed the pass, but still leads them to a tough fourth down situation, doesn't it? It does, and the deficit more than three here at a one-score game. So the field goal, not their ideal situation. Now the defense definitely showing blitz here. Likely the play of the game here. Trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. Now Manuel. And that is incomplete. They gave it to him in search of his third touchdown, but he's denied. And that's going to be just about all she wrote for this one. So that's the second time this game they've given it up on fourth down. They're now one for three on fourth down conversion tries. But they must feel good about what they're doing, right? They continue to go for it on fourth down. Give the defense a lot of credit, though. They've stopped them two out of three times. Usually, you have fourth down plays that you have dialed up and ready to go and you think are going to be successful. Not so far in this game. Space. He gets us up near the 10. Now, Wessels and the Raiders are going to signal for a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Second down to the offense, needing five yards. This is Gordon. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Now the Raiders are going to use another timeout here. That'll leave them with just one remaining in the order of play. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense.
The Chargers on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This will be third and five. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they're going to get the first down here across the 15-yard line. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. Victory formation time for the Chargers. They take a knee. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. From Oakland, we sign off. So long, everybody.